In this simple video tutorial on second generation panel unit root tests, I would like to find out the panel, panel unit root test by PESA run in 2007, that is BSCADF and P PESA run SMAP in Yamaha Kata 2009 panel unit root test, that is XTCIPS, and that is under construction and we would be uh, maybe uh, not able to find out its code at the moment but we would try to find out the source where it has been mentioned and the conventional multi-part tool from the author that is a very conventional second unit root test and we can also include it with other that is xt facial and PSERD. so i would turn to stata to find out how to find out these scores in install it I will just use the find it command and p s c e d f let's see for example we can see that the two codes multiple that i already mentioned in p s c e d f so we can just click on these links and the help menu will appear you have to click on this link to process the installation because i have already installed it on my computer on my stata so I will not click here. You just need to click this. The system will automatically download the files and you can then use the help file to read it. And you can just follow these two links one by one. And I would uh, recommend that you also find out the third code that is CIPSM. If it is completed and published, you might be able to find it uh, with the find it code or maybe directly in Google. So in Google, you for example, find out this website. From Google, you just for example, type the name of the code, click on it and just press enter on your keyboard. The link will be given. You just open it and then just find the source here. You can see that we can find the link here. So for example, it is under construction and we might be able to read the help file. That is the tutorial here as well for example let's see what we do find here so let just open it so for example the report is mentioned you can just for example use it very roughly and you should be very careful with this uh, tutorial as well because it is not officially mentioned in uh, the results might be different so let us for example go to stata i can just type uh, the name of the code that I want to use in the system so that is multi part at the moment. I can find out the examples here. For example, I will just here click T set placed here, here, and I would see that uh, if the data is clearly mentioned. So, because I have already downloaded the data file from the author's website, and one point that you need to remember is that if there is any missing data for some countries. For some variables that you want to analyze then this code would create a lot of warnings that there are gaps and when there are gaps in the data set that is some countries have missing data for some years for some variables included in your analysis then the t statistic would not be produced so you would have to use the z t bar instead of t statistic so let us for example run the help code just one example here so that is i'm just running this example code from here and we will be for example getting the same results and let's see for example the warnings are created exactly as mentioned earlier that if there are some gaps in the data set that is some countries having missing data for some years we would be getting these warnings uh, and if there are many countries so these warnings might be a lot so for example if i have 150 countries in my data set then might be i will be getting 150 warnings for each country so let us say for example create the results we will hold on there until it is complete and then we will continue our discussion on the results the, the conventional approach is there for example we have to find out that statistic in the critical values and then the null hypothesis of the test so you have to reject the null hypothesis if uh, the p values if reported is less than 0.01 so let's see what kind of results this multipart is producing for us and then we will be able to comment on it so as uh, we discussed earlier the t-bar is missing 
and we have the results for our code the variables tested or included and similarly the other informations total number of observations is 817 in class average number of observations so the panel is unbalanced and has gaps and therefore we are missing the required uh, uh, t statistic as well so now we have the variable column where all the variables are mentioned and for uh, different legs so in the chi square statistic in corresponding p values is given we have to find out the null hypothesis uh, which you should be very aware of so after these statistics we can find out the reviewing conclusions based on the p values to reject or null hypothesis and conclude whether there is any unit root or not and once we are done with this conclusion we might be able to proceed for our point integration tests i'm sure this this simple tutorial will help us to conduct the same test for the code that we already mentioned earlier that is p e s c a b f and we can find out the same for one variable or multiple variables with labels and uh, similarly with um, differences on different specification on the legs so let's see for example if there is any special warning so i will include these three variables in the test in our two legs so let's see for example it says there are too many variables so that means that i have to drop at least two of the variables so i would be able to use the code only for one variable so the specification is there we have to find out exactly the same way whether there is a unit root or not you have to find out the null hypothesis of the test and then you have to use the p values to conclude whether to reject the unit root hypothesis or not and there is for example very clear message for us in these statistics the t bar statistics and similarly the z bar and the p values i'm sure that these kind of tutorials will help you thank you very much